Third rank Gonzaga Bulldogs had a relatively easy first two outings this season with a big win over Idaho State and then Texas Southern. The competition going a little bit up tonight as Texas A&M, a Sweet 16 club last season coming to Spokane. Zags fans fired up as the Aggies, the first team from the SEC to come to the kennel in GU history. As Rui Hashimura setting the tone early, big slam put GU up by three. He had 18 on the night. Brandon Clark, he's good. Throws it down right there as he had 14 Zags up 10-6 early. Defense making good offense, and Corey Kispert going to show that with a nice block right there. Then off the feed, Zach Norvell doing what he usually doesn't do. Takes it hard to the hole as he puts up GU still up by four. Then it's Norvell doing what he does best. Second of back-to-back -back threes, led the way with 22 on the night. Zags go up 10 at the break. Hashimura with the jumper just before the horn, and that would jumpstart Gonzaga for the second half. Norvell continuing to dominate. Look at the move inside, the hoop and the harm. 54-37 at that point. Zags in control. A minute and a half later, Corey Kispert with the floater. That would put the Zags up by 20. Then Gino Crandall comes alive. High-flying lay-in as he would get 13 off the bench. As GU cruising in this one as they break it open as they go to 3-0 with a 94-71 win. For more on tonight's win, we send it out live to the kennel where our Brenna Green is just got done talking with the Zags. Hi, Mike. Five Zags scoring in double figures tonight. Obviously a big story, but a big overarching story over a career is Josh Perkins. He hit 500 career assists tonight, and the team and himself had a lot to say about the accolade. Josh means everything to this team. You know, he's our fifth year senior. He's our, uh, our lead dog. Uh, we look to him when we're in trouble, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, he always has an answer for us, and uh, he's always confident and always uplifting us as well, and that's big time on his part. I mean, it's a tremendous accomplishment, you know, and for it to happen early in the season, I mean, I can't put it in words, but um, that's a personal accolade that I really don't focus on. You know, at the end of the day, I want to win the championship, and my job is to make my teammates better on and off the court. Speaking of championships, the Zags now travel literally tomorrow to Maui. Not a bad place to be going. They look to win the Maui tournament, which has a loaded field this year, including the number one team in the country in Duke. Perkins said the team is pretty motivated to come out of there with a trophy. If as bad as, as you think, as bad, I mean, there's probably nothing in, more in the world that we want to do. Um, it's another chance for us to prove to the world how good we are. Um, obviously, you know, Duke's in it, you know, Arizona's in it, um, Auburn's in it. So, I mean, those are tough teams that, you know, we hear about on a daily basis. So it's time for us to, you know, to show the world what we got. The Zags in Illinois tip off at 830 on Monday. Reporting live in the kennel, I'm Brenna Green from Two Sports.